Omar Brownson, co-founder and CEO of G Thanks. I'm delighted to be here with you today as we practice gratitude together. As I say each week, gratitude makes visible what we value and is this incredible reminder that what we take for granted, we make invisible. And so our practice is really about noticing. And when we notice and we give thanks, to me, it is like a light and a lamp. And so when we notice good in the world, we're filling our gratitude or making our lamp bigger. And when we give thanks, we're shining that light to everyone. I'm really excited this week to have Ciela Winter join us. Ciela and I probably met maybe a year ago now. She's the founder and creator of Joan of Spark. She every day tries to find the extraordinary. I love that, finding the extraordinary in the everyday. And on top of everything else that she's doing, she's about to launch a book. It's called The Inner Journey, Discover Your True Self. And that's part of what her practice will be today is helping really to connect to our creative purpose, to connect to our true selves. Uh, and without further ado, I'm excited to introduce Ciela. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much, Omar. Um, thank you, everyone. It's Truly an honor to be here with you. Um, feeling incredibly grateful for this moment in time that we can gather in the middle of the day and be present with one another uh, in the name of gratitude and all that that encompasses. And as Omar, as you mentioned, yes, it has been a very busy time, a very exciting moment um, at the cusp of a new, really a new chapter of life. And it feels like that's a common theme for many of us. And whether or not we're, uh, we can see that next chapter unfolding before our very eyes or we're in the transit between chapters, we're all experiencing a significant amount of change in these times. And so today we're going to explore creative purpose. And before we get into that, because really, in order to explore a creative purpose, we want to orient ourselves in this moment. We want to orient ourselves from where we are exploring. And so just, I invite you in this moment to you know, take a few deep breaths and Feel into what is this moment feel like? How do you feel in this moment? What's present for you in this moment? What are the words that are bubbling up? And as we are exploring our creative purpose and we begin to orient ourselves in this moment, let's reflect back on the past few weeks, perhaps six to seven weeks, if you just take a moment to glance over the past six to seven weeks, what would the theme be? So we just explored this moment today, this very moment in this day, and yet, the past six, seven weeks may also have a theme. And here is an exercise for you to sit with. It may come to you immediately. It may be something just to kind of provoke a deeper contemplation. This period of time, the last month or so, two months, if you were to write a memoir, of just the past six to seven weeks, what would the title be? Suddenly we have this contained amount of time that is your life, your life lived. 
experiencing all spectrums of emotion, perhaps thoughts, emotion, receiving different words, information, a lived experience. So now I'm going to invite us into a guided meditation. And in this meditation, we are going to traverse time. Not in a linear sort of fashion. And in this exploration of time and space, we will orient ourselves with the intention of a deeper understanding of our creative purpose. So let's close our eyes and find a comfortable seated position. When we close our eyes, we begin to see much more that's occurring underneath our skin. Observing the breath as it flows in through the nose. Observing our exhale as it begins to flourish through the inner body. Feel your feet, wherever your feet are, gently press them down and connect with your root. And as you press your feet, begin to very subtly engage the muscles, the tone of the muscles, the skin, the tendons, the ligaments. There's an awakening that occurs at the feet, the legs. As you press gently, just allowing that reverberation to begin to move through the legs. Bringing your awareness back to our inhale and lengthening our spine. Exhale, dropping the shoulders down the back body. coming to this moment right here and beginning from right here to reflect on just five minutes ago. What was occurring for you five minutes ago as you were preparing for the meditation? Curious perhaps. And then going back to this morning, any routines, any unexpected conversations, something that you learned perhaps, and back to your routine of the morning into bed, that first moment of opening your eyes, Continuing to move into last night, into the dream state. Flowing through the energy that was moving through the conscious, the unconscious realm. To last night, into yesterday. whole life lived yesterday. What was important to you then? The people that you saw or spoke to. And then from yesterday, going back a week, a week ago, starting to trace through time what are the memories that stand out? What comes forth? 
and you bring yourself there. And from last week, a month ago, an entire month lived. Who were you then? And your thoughts, words, Three months ago, traversing all that has occurred, all the emotions felt, the challenges, the victories. And from there, one year ago, an entire year, a very different perspective on life, on relationships, on the world. From a year ago, we can begin to observe five years ago. Five years ago. Different experience of life different processes of thought, priorities. And from this space, five years ago, pause. And from this pause, we'll begin to look forward again. Now with some objectivity, as we move back towards a known future from five years ago, objectively observing ourselves, moving back through time, witnessing highs, the lows, the miracles, the blessings, the loved ones. Beginning to move back, making our way back into this moment. here in this moment today. Notice what you notice. Is there movement in your body from these recent travels? New thoughts? new awareness, observations. And from this present moment, inviting yourself forward, begin to take those internal steps into your future. From this space of listening, curiosity,
Breathing into an openness of possibility. A month from now. Envisioning yourself new perspective, perhaps on the other side of something, possibly initiating a change. three months from now. What inspires you? What calls you forward into this open canvas? What are the colors that you're seeing? The sounds that you're hearing? Textures that you feel? emotions, thoughts, words. As this canvas begins to realize Whatever glimmer of this creative future possibility, any messages or insights that are there for you, just envision bringing those right into your heart and perhaps placing your hands on your heart Bringing it close. An imprint. A future memory. Pressed into your heart. Begin to deepen your breath. Inhaling a fresh, full breath into your body here and now. And as you exhale your breath, exhale every last drop of your breath out the body. Another full breath in. And exhale, let it go. can release your hands and begin to move your fingers and your toes. Allowing the vision to stay very close, very intimate. As you slowly and as you're ready, open your eyes. Allow the light to begin to pour in.
And if you're inspired, you can perhaps bring this to a journal or onto the page of your notes, or even just sit and contemplate with what, what you found, what you saw. This ability that we have to move through time within ourselves is an absolute gift. And so we always just give thanks for the miracles of the power within the mystery of what's possible, of all of the wisdom kept a treasure in our own heart. And perhaps a, a homework could be, what is the title of the, your future memoir? How is that, this next chapter, these next steps forward, what is the title of that memoir from this moment, from this perspective? the life that you're living into. Hopeful, love, future memories, new, new perspectives. Thank you everyone. Thank you so much for sharing that journey with me today. Thank you for the invitation, Omar. It's been really wonderful to be here with you all. Very special. Thank you. Deeply grateful. Well, I think um, you taking us through a time travel, particularly in this moment, is so powerful. Where I think I noticed somebody on Instagram, we posted a a win, a Wednesday wisdom quote, and somebody was like, "Thanks for letting me know it's Wednesday because I forgot." And I think you know part of the challenge of right now is the days are truly blurring into each other. I certainly know as a parent when you're homeschooling and now summer school and no camps, there's sort of not a difference anymore. Um, and so what has traditionally broken up our seasons and our days is all changing, which then also creates, I think, an invitation to create our own time travel. And so that for me is what you created for us is like, let's really reimagine how we wanna move time. Uh, one of the things that we talk about is that this is a practice of noticing. And so if meditation is the practice of noticing each breath, mindfulness is the practice of noticing change, and gratitude is the practice of noticing good. And so each time we bring awareness to our noticing, we're able to sort of connect to both the present, but also sort of look, as you said, more objectively, both to our past and to our future. So thank you so much for doing that for us today. And I, I just wanna call out for folks that uh, Ciela shared in the chat, um, some details on the launch of her book, uh, which I, I can't wait to get a read. Um, and uh, truly appreciate uh, you being here and I appreciate everybody for joining us today. I think, again, this has been an experiment, um, moving from G Thanks the app to really building these kind of brief moment each week where we can kind of connect in real time as a community. So thank you for joining us and thank yourselves for giving yourself this time. Yell, is there anything else that you'd like to share with us before uh, we close? Um, just that I, I really honor each of you and admire your courage. Um, this is a time that really is calling forth our courage uh, to show up and to do work and to go in and to really come together. Like you were saying, um, it's about the Sangha, it's about our community. And so thanks for coming together, showing up when, you know, we don't always feel like it. It's very powerful and it also um, is so beneficial to each one of us. So thank you. Thanks, Omar. So